Honkai. I love the Honkai music, man. That's not a dream. Whoa, what do you mean if I forget her? Is being named Senadina. What? Be forever lost in this world. <gasps> Wait, is she gonna disappear just like Elysia in Elysian Realm? What the fuck? Whoa, did I just read that right? Rita, what are you doing there, you crazy psychopath? Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. wait. All those incidents we experienced together, that's not a dream. If even I forget her, will this being named Senadina be forever lost in this world? Oh, what the fuck? Why is Rita here looking like the main villain, bro? Goddamn, Rita looks so fucking fine there. Holy shit. Who the fuck is that, Topaz? Teresa! Daddy, daddy! She turns into like a Beyblade in the air, bro. What the hell? She doesn't do the, the famous phrase, though. What the hell? Terry turns into a lazy ass motherfucker. What happened? Damn, dude. Rita looks fine as hell. What the fuck? I, I kind of like Terry's new form. What the heck? She's just a sleepy, sleepy girl. Hello, captains. Hello, and welcome to the Hello, Hyperion Captain. Lounge for version 7.7. .7. After watching that trailer, it looks like this version's gonna have everything that Honkai Impact 3rd is all about. That was quite an emotional watch. The flashback with Dream Seeker and Cena was tugging at my heartstrings. Flashback? But Cena's flashback isn't the only thing. I also noticed Teresa Oh, that's Vita. Different. You don't think it's because... Well, hold on now. Just like every update from the Hyperion Lounge, we'll get to those questions during the main story segment. Oh, all right. I can't wait to learn more about Teresa's new battle suit. I bet everyone's equally excited. So let's check it out. I'm going to be honest. I see a lot Shixel's of people saying that they're skipping this one. type battle suit. She wields chained blades in battle to deal lightning damage. Chained blades. As the Shixel Overseer, Teresa takes her work very seriously. She fights hard with her puppets, off work Homu and on vacay Homu, to get through her work at top speed. But what's a day on the job without a bit of slagging off? Teresa throws on her eye mask and catches some Zs, while unfinished tasks are left to the dream puppets to deal with. Yeah, I've been seeing well, a lot of people that they're skipping her. Produced. I know plenty of people that could use one. For sure. I could be catching up on some shut eye right now. Yeah, same, but I'm here. <laughs> anyway, how do these more than capable puppets help Teresa in battle? Teresa will manipulate these two puppets to attack enemies. Combat is work to her. She reminds so her me of a character from Trails uh Trails and Rev from Reverie, the out, assassin girl that has the doll. The let me leave work enhanced state. In this state, her attacks will inflict enemies with paralyzed trauma. Paralyzed. If her stress hits the threshold, she'll need to relax. A Probably because of Vita becoming playable. Yeah. Work out of sight. Wait. Yeah. She's also got an. It's been so long since I played Honkai back there. Have I met Vita? Which one? Which one is Vita? Is she a part two character? Why? Why? Why is that name not ringing any bells? Alarm set to let her enemies know that when it's oh, time I to haven't met out, her yet. the fighting stops. This move will inflict significant paralyzed oh, trauma part on enemies 1.5. Okay, so I haven't met as her yet. As far as Teresa's concerned. Okay. Enemies that have been beat down. So after I finish finality arc, I'll be able done. to meet her. Only 
an expert at dealing with employees. I'm assuming she's a bad guy. Like her would think of something so brilliant. If hot, why evil, bro? Is out of this world too. You're right. Let's take another look at those dream puppets we mentioned earlier. Four or five jobs away. When Teresa casts her ultimate, she takes a break while the puppets grow in size <laughs> and take the field. They deal lightning damage to enemies, and you'll still be able to switch into other characters. What the hell? Teresa's a great leader, so she'll and they just still be auto operating combat? Oh, that's really good. After taking a short break, she will return to the battlefield. This will trigger work done in dreams and inflicts collapse on enemies. That's an interesting Just mechanic. Someone likes taking it easy doesn't mean they can't help where needed. When Teresa activates Astral Ring Specialization World Star as the team leader in a resonance team, her two puppets will appear on the field during Stellar Outburst as resonance marks to trigger resonance attacks. The puppets can also devour her teammates' resonance marks and be triggered automatically. So that means the puppets can trigger more resonance attacks. In a Shadow Star team, Teresa can become a phantom to a cast Shadow, Shadow Star, Star team? attacks. Fuck is Shadow Star battling on her behalf. She gets to Shadow back Star's and a thing now. Early. How do we get such an awesome weapon? After the version 7.7 .7 update, Shixel's Imperative's recommended weapon, her weapon looks notice, cool, and Pryarm Vacation Notice Emergency Overtime will be added. When equipped with the recommended weapons, Shixel's Imperative's QTE and Work Done in Dreams build up bonus stress on hit. At the same time, her teammates will be able to negate Quantum-type attacks. Negating or ultimate evading a Quantum-type attack will inflict Collapse once. Make sure you get Teresa's handy weapon for work. Next yeah, I like up, the weapon let's designs. check out the new Stigmata. Teresa's Songsha? I see a lot of people like Songsha. Are, as you've guessed, related to work. Stigma set day after day reflects a day in her busy life. And the first stigma, Teresa is sleepily washing up to prep for the day. Just thinking about hopping out of bed in the morning and heading into work is too much to handle. <laughs> in the second stigma, okay, so I thought this was like some alternate problems, universe, like Teresa, but it's the same one. And juice for life support. In the third one, Teresa can finally hit the hay at night. Unfortunately, work plagues her even in her dreams. Work may be rough. Yeah, same. That's not the work worst. Work plagues me in my dreams too. No, the worst part is it's just a Sisyphean nightmare of the same tasks day in and day out with no real end in sight. But that's the responsibility of the Shiksoul overseer. Teresa might complain all the time, but she's never really entertained the thought of throwing in the towel. After all, she believes she's just as fit for the role as her predecessor. I'm tearing up just hearing that. I'm excited to see how Teresa's story unfolds. Since we're on the topic of stories, it's time to talk about the main story. Before we do that, let's check out the messages from the voice artists for Dreamseeker and Serapium. Okay. Make sure you don't miss the redemption code either. Wait, so everything that she's been doing in Mars is a dream? What is she, Titus? Not Final Fantasy X? Am I dreaming about this world? That makes sense why her name is Dream Seeker. Also, I just realized something. I'm pretty sure that's her voice actor. Yep. Same one. Yep, he's the same voice actor as the stepsister in this anime. This anime is the best anime this season, though, by hands down. I recognize that ASMR voice from anywhere. Dude, this art for her looks amazing. What the fuck? Holy shit. But not the greatest in combat. He's an anal-ist. Dude, this is just amazing. Certain existence. Her two stories come to a close in the end for her. They not journey with her forever. Dude, 
Wait, so they're going to keep introducing new people? I don't know how I feel about that. I really liked Senadina and Songcha and all them. Dude, imagine if what's going on in Mars is all just a simulation of, of Dream Seeker's mind, and that's it. So is this, is this, is this why everyone's been saying that part two is, is getting crazy good now? It's almost, it's almost like they needed a couple of chapters to just, you know, build up the story. And people were just not giving it a fair chance very early on. <laughs> when I saw so many people saying that part two is mid, I'm like, you guys are comparing it to a fucking story that had seven years of content. You got to let it build a little. <laughs> it's a new arc, a new story. New characters. Seraphim? So she's one of the new characters then. God, I want to play part two so much. セラペウム役の大野優子です。セラペウムさんはですね、とても心優しい女の子で、霊能力がありそうなオーラがあります。え、一見すると可愛い してい。ます。でもそれを除くと彼女は図書館で眠ってしまうような、ただの読書好きの一面もあったり、すごくすごく可愛らしい女の子です。そんな彼女を前にすると、優しい一面を見せてくれます。あの、わがままなドニグルさ
I finished Black Myth Wukong. It just came out. I finished. I finished Trails Through Daybreak. I'm doing Shin Megami Tensei Five, Vengeance. Uh, I'm doing uh, Uden Chronicles 100 Heroes. I'm almost done with this game. But the problem is a lot of those games are 80 plus hour games, so they take fucking forever. But um, I'm almost caught up with them. I still have to play Persona 3 Reload at some point, but uh, I'm not in a rush because I played 3 when I was younger. I didn't finish it, but I already know mostly some of the stuff that happens. But I, I, I hopefully by the end of this month, I'm done with those games and I can then I won't have really anything to do until October when uh, the new... Um, there's another game coming out in October I want to play besides Call of Duty. I forgot the fuck it was. But yeah, when the other games come out, I when while I'm waiting for a new game to come out, I'll have time to just play Honkai Back Third. Involves Kiana. In part two's chapter four, Ashore Under Watch. Okay, yeah, Vita looks evil, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. The way Teresa's looking at her, Teresa's so cute. Vita and Teresa will enter the system to help Dreamseeker. Oh, so those are our new companions? So Senna Senna fucking disappeared? I'm so mad that I got spoiled about that, bro. Because that would have emotionally wrecked me. How will they help her? For starters, Fuck! Vita has created... I'm going to go find the people that commented on my YouTube and told me to go watch this, and I'm going to ban them. Because ain't no way you dumb fucks told me to watch this shit with your whole ass voice, bro. This is the craziest... This is the craziest spoiler in the live stream I've ever seen in my life. Created a new account for Teresa. Created a new account? It sounds like Vita is up to no good. Look at how smug Vita is in the yeah. cutscene. Well, Teresa she is evil. She looks evil. That's if evil, why hot? Vita made Teresa. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, why was it muted? We have to keep up the suspense, just like we always oh, do. Oh, now you want to keep but up the suspense? Fuck you, bro. <laughs> Fuck you. Thing I can tell you. In the main story, we're gonna get to see a different side to the, oh, the seven, seven shoes. shoes. For hmm. example, we might see someone doing a bit of street performance. The story is getting even more confusing. I have a feeling that Dream Seeker's journey will be rough. It won't be easy, since there will be plenty of boss battles in the main story this time. Oh, okay. That's right. After Dream Seeker returns to explore Langtio with her new companions. They all all PVs and trails and live streams have spoilers. So like should I just not fish. watch them going forward? Right. It can fire streams of bullets at us from the two cannons underneath it, and Dude, some that schools boss of fish looks to form sick. a floating shield fuck? for itself. The schools of fish can shield it and transform into wings for the robot fish to dash forward. Oh my God, it looks like a robot, but it can move just as quickly as a real fish in water. Heat dive automaton can also burrow into the ground. Yo, the mechanics of this fire the cool. Before it rushes out to ambush, then the schools of fish will gather and charge like a wave. I like the way that she runs. As the battle goes on, the schools of fish will form a laser formation to attack. A laser formation? This is getting ridiculous. What this are you cool supposed fight. to do against something like that? If it were me. I just give that up and jump lie mechanics? Down. What but the fuck? I heard this is a, a fucking this. MMO boss fight Seems with these like tells there are and shit. Plenty of secrets to this boss fight. We hope you all look forward to taking it on in game. Playing the main story we'll take your mom gives you plenty of rewards. That includes crystals, source prisms, and dream seeker chips to upgrade dream seeker. Okay. In addition to the main story, upgrade dream investigation Teresa's great adventure will also be released. As the title suggests, Vita has pushed her investigation duties onto Teresa, forcing her into a great adventure. It really seems like Vita enjoys driving Teresa crazy. No kidding. I'm starting to worry about Teresa. Teresa is a true professional with tons of experience. Yeah, she's, she's a true professional, outside, all right. But flexible on the inside. She won't let something like this get under her skin. Besides, captains are there to help her. You're right. And it's her exterior resolve that allows Teresa to transform into a cube and wander Cubrisa in big mazes. That's a cool event. Captains will need to control the Teresa cube to solve puzzles and reach the destination. Firm on the outside and flexible on the inside, huh? And will we just be wandering around Dreamland as Cubrisa this time? Nope. The gameplay has a lot more to offer. Our so this is a returning event then. I don't think I've ever too. done this. For example, in Bounce, Overseer jumps high. 
Captains need to have Teresa jump and collect energy orbs to boost the power of her landings. And Vita will also be helping Teresa in battle. In partners easy fights with V, Vita's wish feathers will deal massive full screen damage as she assists Teresa in battle. That's impressive damage. Vita sure is a loyal okay. friend. Vita brings more than damage to the battlefield. She also has rewards to hand out. Play the main story to obtain crystals, source prisms, ancient willpower, and more. In addition to okay. already existing rewards, completing event missions in version 7.7 .7 also unlocks more limited time rewards. Like Make what? sure you don't miss out. As we've seen, Vita will play a large part in the main story gameplay. I believe everyone is excited to meet Vita. So we've got some news about I, her I too. honestly am. She looks hot. After she looks like Rita. the 7.7 update, the event Born from a Dream will be released. And Who is that Dream Seeker? Who is this? This event. Vita will appear. Oh, Vita was, will appear as a mysterious figure. This is Vita? Yeah, I thought so when I saw this, but I wasn't sure. Vita will appear as a mysterious figure. At the same time, reality will begin to collapse. I remember Vita appearing as a mysterious figure during the Interstellar Duels too. She tricked me out of a lot of tickets. And this time, she's a mysterious figure, and not just a name only. Look at the title. Hold on. We can't talk about that now. Let's move on to the event gameplay. If Wait. <laughs> I just get spoiled by something else. Look at the title, Born from a Dream. I'm already this far in, I might as well just watch this at this point. We can't talk about that now. <sighs> Let's move on to the event gameplay. Okay. If you say so, this event requires us to fight against nightmares, safeguarding our spirits and minds. Of course, our beloved Vita will be there to help you battle these nightmares. Along the way, as a certain someone, they're baiting. Oh, it's working. Learn the secrets of this I'll world. tell you that. You'll have to strategize and have Vita build defensive towers and camps in different locations. Then you'll need to assemble guards to protect your base. You can even have Vita block and attack nightmares. In addition, you can unlock Vita's different forms. She can use a great sword, a lance, or even a bow. What? But you won't have to worry about selecting the right one. The stages will automatically choose the most suitable form for battle. Meanwhile, oh, okay. I, was, I thought like right her actual kit could do that. I was like, stronger. wait, what? Wait a so minute. she's facial? <laughs> Who is this certain <laughs> someone you mentioned earlier? That's a good question. Is it going to be one of Vita's close friends? Does she even have close friends? I guess anything is possible in yeah, a dream. Yeah, that's fucked up to say. What the fuck? If you fuck? want to find out more. She You'll even have close friends that's fucked up. And we promise tons of rewards too. Be sure to play the version events to obtain crystals, source prisms, Honkai oh. shards, emblems, and more. Oh, that new outfit for Chrono her is Navi's sick. New outfit, AI, Guiding right? Star will also be available. And it's everyone should AI's recognize new outfit. Eyes outfit. Eyes outfit, yeah. She wore it while chatting with Vita in part two's chapter one. More importantly, oh, okay. her hair buns are back. This I think I remember this going around where people like make this a skin. I, I think I remember seeing this go around. Inspiration from the night sky. Her elegant black dress is accented. Is that the finality fucking map? Color. It is, right? Unlike her usual AI style, this outfit makes her look more mature and dignified. I'm sure everyone can't wait to see this dress. And I can't wait to get started on version 7.7 .7 too. Well, hold on just a moment. And we'll take a quick look at the top up bonuses first. In version 7.7, .7, collect top-ups to claim weapon direct level up coupons, rank up stamps, source prisms, supply cards, and more fabulous okay. bonuses. You can use a weapon direct level up coupon to upgrade one rare weapon directly to level 50 without any additional material cost. Make sure to claim the version bonuses too. Participate in version 7.7's login events to obtain crystals, Teresa's recommended stigma option, and more. The battlesuit supply for Teresa's new battlesuit will also offer a 50% discount for the first 10 drops. After the version 7.7 .7 update, Teresa's recommended stigma set can also be crafted. Captains are now able to freely craft their desired stigmata. Along with these bonuses, we also want captains to have an enjoyable gaming experience. 
Okay. The popular six sulfate I was looking event at something. will continue in version 7.7. .7. Similar to the event's first run, captains can obtain vacation tickets. Hey, that's May. It's by playing the main story and featured events. time light event? You know what I think? You know what I think annoys me about the events in Honkai and Back Third? That why I think I love Star Rail so much. I really hate the fact that I have massive FOMO from all the events. Like I, I really can't stand it because like they're not permanent. It's like Genshin; they're not permanent. So, you know, I. Everyone keeps telling me how good the stories are in some of these events, and I just, I literally have missed so many. So, yo, age, thank you so much for the raid. Sorry, I had alerts turned off because I had, uh, I was reacting to this. I appreciate you. Thank you, guys. Can I get a shout out for age? Any of my mods are available right now. I know I don't usually stream it. This time was really early. That's all for version seven point seven. As for Teresa's event in version seven point six. I'm sure our hard-working captains recognized a few things. Let's talk about some of the stories from the development team while they were designing for Teresa. Oh, okay, this it's is interesting. It's incredible just how much art the creative concept and writing team made for this Thank event. You, the original art was buried away because the artist felt it was too painful to... This cannot be actual concept art, bro. I'm dying. Look at. But now, it's finally time to let that art see the light of day. <laughs> <laughs> Let's compare them with the final version. Oh my god. The expression. Wait, wait, maybe they did. Maybe they did fucking do concept art like the that. Grisio and Vita are way too lifelike. It looks just like the final cutscene. Grisio's face tells me she doesn't have bro, any can you guys stop showing fucking spoilers? The writers and artists must have some kind of inexplicable bond. They can understand each other with just a few simple sketches. These drawings were sent to the artists by the writers for reference. But to everyone's surprise, the artists uploaded them to a public folder. <laughs> that's a real story. The that's so fun. content has to be shared with everyone. Seems like the artist wanted everyone else to have to put up with looking at these original designs, too. <laughs> but Art of Grisio and Teresa weren't the only files in the folder. Susanna looks like she's serving a certain someone. And that certain someone huh? doesn't seem to be doing too hot. Let's compare those with the final cutscene. I was going to say, let me guess it's Teresa. I can tell that the artist really managed to capture <laughs> Teresa's soul. What the Is fuck? Does Teresa have sleep apnea? After working for too long? By the way. I've been meaning to point this out. Why does an automatic respirator have to be activated manually? Yeah, After for real. Why is she pumping the... Oh, okay. An oxygen cylinder was seen at the designer's desk. This event has impacted the team <sighs> significantly. Stop. There are all sorts of stories from the development process. What the process. fuck is she pumping in her mouth? Like that one about cold water instant noodles. When the sound technician was creating the sound effects for instant noodles, he tried cooking the noodles with cold water. Huh? I wonder how it was he said it tasted horrible at any rate what the semen the she's pumping in there okay the I'll, I'll, I'll stop i'll stop they I'll stop. realized it reflected their mental state while working on the event that's right during this process the team also came up with some pretty interesting gameplay like helping co-workers relax by shooting at them and divvying up workload fairly the idea of auto racing with a wheelchair also popped into their minds that makes me think about kiana's cook with me when I first heard that, you could tell the writers were playing a bit of inside baseball. Sounds like the writing team wanted to let us know their thoughts on the job. Just like how it is for everyone at Shixel, work isn't always fun in games. Even so, the team worked plenty of overtime to make this event happen. I'm sure they did their best, knowing the final product would bring so much joy to captains. It can be hard to stay sane when there's never-ending work to do. But we'll all be able to persevere, thinking about how Age, much did fun you stay up, have. or did you wake up and early for, for the stream? That will bring even more fun events and iconic scenes to everyone in the future. Yeah, and Teresa's been hard at work too, hasn't she? But two hours like me, I slept three hours, like two and a half, something like that. Yeah. But we haven't said goodbye to everyone yet. We hope that you've all enjoyed the behind-the-scenes content this time. See you next time, captains. We'll be clocking off now, captains. Bye bye. Like, I know it's my own fault that I watched this without doing the fucking update.
But I'm like, because like the trailer, while the trailer did spoil quite a bit, it wasn't to the extreme of, of like them talking about it. Right? Because like this, this, this right here, where they did a story recap. Bro, please just cut the shit out of this shit so I can watch this. Turn to reality. Only to discover they were actually on the moon. Like, are we fucking kidding? They did not, they did not have to, why? I'm actually so mad about that. I, I Man, I'm more mad at the people that told me I need to watch this live stream. Bitch, I haven't even fucking started part two, and it just spoiled the entire thing. They did a they did a recap of the last chapter. They pretty much said, "Oh yeah, it was all a dream." Who did it? It was like four different people on my YouTube this morning when I woke up. God fucking damn! I just want to see this trailer one more time though. It's like everyone's like, I "Can't start part two without doing one point five. You're gonna miss so much." You know what? It's comments like that why I haven't played the game in a while. Because, like, goddamn, do you know how long 1.5 is, bro? That's, like, what? From 5.0 till 7.0? What the fuck, man? That's a lot. Yeah, dude, that's crazy. How did I do? She has such a, like a very good, like memorable voice. Like this, this, by the way, this anime, if you guys have not watched days with my stepsister yet, oh man, you want a good romance, a good psychological, relatable anime, like mature with very deep tones. Like, dude, this anime is fucking amazing. It's my favorite anime this season. Honestly, maybe this year. It's so good. But yeah, this voice actor he has such an ASMR like voice. This is literally the voice for a dream sticker. I don't even need to look it up. Yeah, literally, it's literally the same VA. This, I'm not gonna lie, I am pretty mad about this because. Uh, from, from what little I've seen of Senadina, I already grew so attached to her. I fucking love this character. And you telling me what happened to Elysia happens to her? <laughs> You're going to disappear like the flame chasers? That's so fucked. If I didn't know this and I saw this for the first time myself, I literally would have bawled my eyes out. But now that I know it's coming, it's not as sad. And I thought this was Rita, because she kind of looked like her, but that, that is Vita. Okay, I don't know this character, because you meet her at 1.5, but she looks hot as fuck. <laughs> fucking Teresa. Daddy, daddy, die, shorty. I fucking love her, bro. Dude, uh, uh, part two music goes so hard. Yeah, her combat looks actually really fun. Oh, he turns into a fucking Beyblade. What the hell? <laughs> her ult is so funny, bro. She's like, fuck this, I'm going to sleep. Why'd they have to fucking point this out? Born from a dream. They they are going to such mindfuck territories in part two. Like, holy shit. You telling me that Rita was born from the dream that Dream Seeker's having? Yeah, I really her voice actor is so good. Where is she right here? Wait, 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 just hear about the... 
Yeah, she even has the same tone because she she can do very different voices, but the tone she has there, I don't even need to look it up. This is the same person. Yeah. She has an ASMR voice like crazy. Yeah, that's the same person. God, dude. She, her 2D art looks incredible. My, I think it looks better than in-game. She looks fucking amazing. Holy shit. I want to know. So this has got to be a new character they meet too, huh? Seraphim. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, this was uh that was a very good, very spoilery. I hate that I watched that um, update because I haven't watched the... Uh, hyperion lounge and a couple of uh, updates but uh i am pretty much getting caught up on my backlog the only game i really have to play not have to but i want to play this on my backlog is what is it persona 3 reloaded um but that is a 100 plus hour game that i'm gonna be taking my time with and i already played it when i was younger so it's not anything crazy like that i want to get my hands on right away but i am trying to finish shin megami tensei 5 now and um what's the other game uh a yudin chronicles 100 heroes i'm almost done with that one and vengeance i'm going to focus on after that and then once i have like nothing else to play i will be uploading more of my playthroughs through honkai back third i will finish i think i'm gonna at least spend a day next week to do the finality like just finish it because um finality is four chapters right if i'm not mistaken i am pretty much through two chapters i think i'm like almost at the end of the second chapter of finality and then i have two more after that i think i'm just gonna sit there in one sitting and just do them all in one sitting um or maybe in two two separate days uh, and that way i can get that out to you guys and then once i'm done with vengeance then i will start 1.5 32 to 35 so yeah four chapters 32 33 34 35 there's four chapters um SMT5 Vengeance is really good. R way better than the one on the Switch, I tell you that. Uh, but yeah, I will I will be uploading very sh soon um, the finality reaction and, and playthrough. And uh, I'm probably going to do that off stream because, uh, as I told you guys, it's one thing I learned is that I hate streaming Hot Guy Back Third because people, insufferable ass people, come in streams and constantly spoil. And people say, can't you just get mods? doesn't matter if they ban a person if they already spoil me and i already see it before they get banned okay uh and the constant foreshadowing and the backseating was super fucking annoying and i could not stand it anymore that is why i stopped playing the game uh so you guys can blame yourselves well not yourselves but for you can blame the annoying i get people are excited but holy fuck they're annoying as shit you're gonna blame the annoying overly excited people from the honkai back third community that made me stop playing the game because that is why i stopped playing every stream was constant spoilers or foreshadowing right before a crazy moment happened oh my god he's not ready i'm gonna cry someone get tissues he's not ready he's not bro do you not realize that you're literally spoiling me that something bad is about to happen it ruins the moment right it's not genuine then because i already know something's about to come like you're about to get hit by a bus when someone's like hey you better say your prayers because there's a truck coming like you know like Come on, man. Like, fucking annoying. So I'm just going to play off stream, record it, and edit it, and post it that way. It's not going to be the same kind of vibe. But you know what? I'll be more focused on the story than when I was streaming it. So some people just do it on purpose, too. Yeah, they do. And I fucking cannot stand those people. But yeah, you guys should be seeing those uh, sh those videos back on the channel uh, very shortly. Because I know you guys have been asking me uh, to at least finish Finale. But as a Finale, I will be doing 1.5. Uh, because a lot of people said don't just jump apart to do 1.5 because a lot of characters in two uh and a lot of stuff that gets talked about in two that you wouldn't understand if you don't do 1.5 so i gotta practice what i preach i'd be telling people the same thing with the trail series so i gotta i gotta do that so you guys can look forward to that coming soon